Yo, what up people, Leah here from Creative Tech Lab. Today we're back to talk about iMovie, how to get that cinematic look by adding cinematic bars this time and maybe even have them animate in like this and possibly animate out like this. Let's get into it. But first and foremost, welcome to Creative Tech Lab. My name is Leo. This is the YouTube channel to accompany our website, creativetechlab.com, where we do talk about our things creative. As usual, big up to the 1600 or so people that have joined our small but growing community. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you are new here, I ask that you just stick around, watch the video, and then if you like it, give it a like or drop it a comment with any feedback that you'd like to add there. And also today is Thursday, which means we have a three minute Thursday. And if you're thinking that does sound like a big YouTuber that does a thing with a time on a day, yes, it is very much like that. We try and tackle a topic here within three minutes on the timer when I say the timer starts, but don't worry, follow along. You'll get used to it. That's not important. That's not why we're here to talk. We're here to talk about iMovie and getting that cinematic look. So before we jump into the software and start our timer, let's just talk about why you'd wanna add this look or why people think adding bars is what makes something cinematic. So on traditional cinema cameras on the stuff that you'd shoot a movie on, they shoot on anamorphic lenses and the lens kind of stretches out the image so it looks kind of warped, but in order to get a normal image, they de-squeeze it and it pushes the image down, which gives it a wider field of view. So that's why when you go to the movies, you have that wide cinematic look but your regular television is on a 16 by nine screen. So that's why you would have bars on the top there. So the cinema cameras that don't actually add bars is just the way that it was shot. Here on YouTube or on other platforms and such, in order to fake that kind of look, what we do is we would add bars in like this. Now, in order for me to do that, as I just did here in Final Cut Pro, I would just crop the image on the top and the bottom a little bit and it just squeezed in there. We don't have that same option in iMovie, but it doesn't mean that we can't achieve the same look. We can use a PNG image to overlay over our footage and achieve something very similar. So let's jump over in the software and show you guys how that works. All right, so three minutes on the clock starting right now. So the first thing you wanna do here you're gonna go into Google and you're gonna type cinematic bars, come to images here. And if you see here, you wanna kind of select or see what your aspect ratio is gonna be. So I'm doing most of these stuff on a 1080p timeline anyway. So you just kind of wanna check and just check the size and make sure that it's correct. Let's jump into the software here. I already have some bars here that I'm going to use. So I'm gonna drag this onto here and I'm going to overlay it. Let me just drag it out for the entire clip to make sure that it is good there. All right, so two things that you're gonna to wanna to check to make sure that you have done it correctly. The first thing here is your overlay options here. So you're gonna to come to make sure that it's on cutaway. If you have it on say picture and picture, it's gonna show up too small or anything else. So you wanna make sure that it's on cutaway and if it's the correct aspect ratio, it will fit your entire timeline there as it should. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to check there is to make sure that the crop feature is set to fit. If you have it set to Ken Burns, it's gonna animate and it's gonna move there before you actually want it to. So you're gonna want it set to Ken Burns and that way you'll have your bars throughout your image. Now, if you don't wanna animate it, that's all you have to do there. Just set it to cut away, set it to fit and everything is straight. However, we want to animate this a little bit here. So if we wanna animate it here, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come here and this is probably where I'd want the animation to end. I'm gonna cut this clip here and then for this piece of the clip, I'm gonna have it selected. I'm gonna change the crop feature back to Ken Burns there, select the image. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start it actually really small. So we're gonna crop the starting point in there, super small, and put it in the end, and then I'm gonna do the ending point there, and it's gonna be the full size of what the image should be. And now, when we play that back there, we're gonna have it fade in towards the end of the clip there, and then for the rest of the scene there, it's just gonna stay static. And then if you wanted to fade it out, you're just gonna do the opposite there. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna put this there, I'm gonna do the Ken Burns again, but this time I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna have the start being super tight there and then I'm gonna have it end 
super small. And then you're gonna see here, it's gonna come back out and fade out towards the end there. And then so if I play the whole thing back there, as you see, I saw before, you see animates in there, and then you're gonna come out here, it's gonna play, it's gonna stay there, and then if you want it to come back out, it animates back out just like that. So yeah, it's that easy to add cinematic bars and animate them if you want to in and out. So hopefully you like that there. One thing to note that if you want the bars to move a little bit longer or a little bit slower, it kind of just depends on how dramatic you want the look to be. So making the boxes a little bit closer to size and then also how long the clip is. So if you make the clip a little bit longer, the animation will be a little bit longer with the overlay there. But yeah, that's it. It's pretty much that simple. And then you have a way to make your iMovie videos look even more cinematic. Also check out some of my other iMovie tutorials. I've done quite a few there. So playlists will be linked at the end of this video and down below if you want to check those out. I actually recently did one on color grading and how to get that cinematic look in terms of changing your colors and saturations and stuff and contrast in iMovie. So check that out. If this video helped you out in any way, shape or form, go ahead and drop it a like. As I said before, mash up all the other bottoms down there on the bottom, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the other stuff that we have coming out around iMovie and we talk a lot about other run and gun videography setups here on the channel. So you definitely don't wanna miss that, but I won't ramble on here anymore. I will catch you in the next video or while you're here and you're still on the platform, go watch another one cause that also helps out the channel there as well. But I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Woo!